Hi friends! What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're sitting in the car, we're hanging out, I'm gonna catch you guys up on what's been going on in my life. As you guys know right now, Carlos and I are in the process of moving. We are moving to our first home and I'm so excited. Oh my god, it just, it hasn't feel real yet. I'm, I'm just honestly so excited. Am I excited about the packing part? Not so much, okay? If you guys have moved before, packing is very, very stressful. But I figure I'd take a moment. I just got myself a Starbucks. We're gonna sit here and we're just gonna hang out chill and I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some questions and you guys sent me so many so I went through and I narrowed it down to the most common questions so hopefully I get a chance to answer your questions today also by the way my merch has launched if you guys are interested in buying some merch it's on shopkimtie.com I'll link it down below for you this is my favorite piece it's the high friends tie-dye crew neck it's so so cute so I will link it down below for you guys also leave me a comment Share with me what you've been up to. Please share with me your small businesses. I would love to check out your business, support you as much as I can. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Let's get started with the Q&A. So the first question is from Tiff, and she asks, how did you and Carlos start your ring buying process? So if you guys didn't know, Carlos and I got engaged two months ago. Crazy, where time flies. Where's, like, time is just flying. Like, where is it going? So we got engaged on October 4th, and this is my beautiful ring. I am quite obsessed with it. I've been talking about it on Instagram, so this is no surprise for you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know all the juicy details. But if you guys don't, I just design my engagement ring with Carlos with Brilliant Earth. If you guys don't know what Brilliant Earth is, it is the most, oh my god, Brilliant Earth is like the most beautiful company brand ever. Like I religiously love Brilliant Earth. I follow them on all social media. I religiously follow their Instagram. I fully support the brand. I love them so much. And prior to meeting Carlos, I was a huge Brilliant Earth fan. Like I was ridiculously obsessed with them. Like I am that girl that would scroll through Instagram Instagram and literally favorite every single thing and I am also that girl that has a folder on Pinterest with my dream engagement ring so yes I knew exactly what I wanted but I'm sure a lot of us you know we usually have an idea of what kind of engagement ring we want so when Carlos and I were talking about getting engaged that topic was upon us a few months before we designed the ring so we designed the ring with Brilliant Earth September 2019 so a little bit over a year ago and it was such a dream come true a lot of people were like oh my god like you know did it ruin the proposal it didn't at all and let me tell you why so we drove from Orange County to Los Angeles because we found out that there was a brilliant earth office up there and you were able to make an appointment and go in and talk to their professional very experienced jeweler like their team was extremely nice you sat down you look at all the rings you try them on it was like really freaking pretty like prepare yourself before you go and design your engagement ring because honestly Honestly, the experience was just mind-blowing it was so amazing I did not want to leave it was Carlos loved it like we are so happy and grateful that we got a chance to experience that together because it's such a memory that we'll cherish for a very very long time so we designed my engagement ring we also designed my wedding band with brilliant earth and we designed uh, Carlos's wedding band as well we honestly got exactly what we wanted because brilliant earth really listened to us and really wrote down everything every single detail and it was amazing to really sit there and also get professional feedback because walking in I really didn't know anything like I was like carrots like when it comes to like how many carrots I want like they were like how many carrots do you want and I was like I've never had anything really like big on my finger so I really don't know like one carat point five. like it was so cool to sit there and actually try the different carrots on so you knew exactly what looked good on your finger and it didn't ruin the proposal at all because a lot of you guys were concerned about that you were like hey if you design your ring together doesn't that ruin the proposal and it doesn't at all because I actually didn't get to see the ring until Carlos proposed a whole entire year later I thought this man was going to pop the question like two months after designing a ring and he waited a whole entire year later but you know things worked out I didn't see it until the day of obviously getting proposed to and I, when I saw the ring you guys I was like oh it was just 
oh my god it was like ha ha it was like all this like it was just like a dream come true I loved it it was amazing I will actually list the link down below to my engagement ring a lot of you guys have been asking what style I got and if it's rose gold and then a lot of you guys have been asking about the wedding band so I will link a brilliant earth's website down below for you guys so you can see if there's a location near you to make an appointment and then I will link my engagement ring and my wedding band together you guys follow them on Instagram as well their Instagram is beautiful and check out their website they're amazing but that's honestly how we started the ring buying process we knew exactly what we wanted and we confirmed with each other that we wanted to design everything together so we got exactly what we wanted but basically that's how the process started it started it was really there was really no juice or tea to it the next one is do you and Carlos help out your moms financially such as rent bills etc so when we got to a point in our income where we were able to help our families a hundred percent yes we chose that route it was always a priority for me personally and also Carlos to help out our moms because both of our moms are single mothers and you know they've done a lot for us and they've provided so much for us um, when we came to the States and so giving back was a priority and we do as much as we can now but eventually we want to do more and I feel like you know being kids you kind of always want to do that like one day you want to give back to your parents and you know I just remember when my mom came to America she didn't have much and to see her work so hard and countless hours now that I'm in a better position financially and I'm in a situation where I can give back I definitely that was like a priority for me like no questions asked I wanted to give back as much as I can so Carlos and I we um, without obviously getting into it too much we do financially help our moms and we help our families overall as much as we can the next question is have you picked out your wedding dress even though you won't have a big ceremony no I haven't talked about my wedding dress um, I haven't even looked at wedding dresses I haven't done anything wedding dress related Carlos and I right now are we're saying that we're not gonna have a wedding to be honest with you guys there are some days where we see wedding stuff and we're like oh maybe we should have a wedding but also with COVID going on it's a, it's a little bit crazy and we don't know and right now obviously you guys know we just bought a house so that's a lot of money so right now we're not really gonna have a wedding so I'm not even talking about wedding dresses to you guys but are wedding plans possibly gonna happen maybe I don't know see I don't know I honestly think because of COVID I'm just like oh why why put so much effort and money and plan something if it might not happen and then put myself through that stress like I've heard so many stories of you know people having to cancel their weddings this year and I was just so heartbroken for them because a lot of money and planning goes into a wedding so wedding plans who knows maybe but wedding dress girl I haven't I haven't even thought about it to be honest with you the next question is how do you remain so humble with all of God's blessing I think it's super important to remain humble no matter how much money you have how much you succeed in life and the reason that I say that is because excuse me my coffee it's like reacting you know the reason that I say that is because as fast as money goes into your account and as fast as success happens to you it can be eliminated just as fast you can lose something as fast as you get it and so you I think that's why I always remain humble because one I completely remember what it was like to not have a lot and I feel like when you go through something like that and then you experience you know more financial stability or just comfort in your life it's a huge blessing and I wouldn't want any of this to go away because I remember what what it was like back then to not have what I have now I remember back then dreaming of the things that I have now so it's you know it's extremely important to me and if you've been following me for six years now on YouTube you know that no matter what I have or how much money I'm making or what opportunities come my way I would like to believe that I still stay the same person as I am on and off screen and the only thing that has changed is I've grown obviously six years ago I was 20 20, 21 years old I'm 27 now so obviously I've grown and that's a good thing but humble is such an important part of me and the reason 
reason that I am so humble is because of my mom and I'm also so humble because I am surrounded by people that honestly keep me grounded that support me when I need support but will also tell me to get my shit together when I'm acting like I'm all that which is honestly rare because as much my thing in life is if I have more I'm gonna give more you know what I'm saying like if I make more money yeah I'm gonna make sure that my family's taken care of but I also want to be in a situation where I'm able to help my mom I'm able to I'm able to help my sister so for me you know being humble is just really really important and that's you know that's why you always see me humble <laughs> Did you ever think you weren't going to find love? So before Carlos, my last relationship was, oh, my last relationship was like, it ended when I was 18 or 19 or 20. No, it was 19 or 20. And honestly, after that relationship, I was like, screw boys. I'm going to take time to focus on myself. And that's exactly what I did. I started YouTube. I finished college and I worked really hard to get my education and my career together. And I was single for four years before I hopped into another relationship, which was obviously Carlos. So did I ever think that I wasn't going to find love again? I never really thought about it because I wasn't focused on finding a boyfriend or love. To be honest, I was so focused on my career I was so focused to make something of myself in those four years and I knew that in order to be in a healthy relationship I wanted to be happy with myself and be in a good mindset and good standing with myself before I was able to hop into a relationship and really just you know be happy and and focus on that so for four years it was all about work and no play and so I really never thought about it when you have kids which room in the house will be theirs so so a lot of people ask this where are your kids rooms when you're got you guys are gonna have kids and so when we have kids the guest room will obviously turn into one of the kids room and then my studio will turn into one of the kids rooms as well I plan on only having two kids if we end up having three kids then we will figure it out then I'm sure a lot of parents out there don't plan everything in advance um, you just never know and if I have four kids then we will figure it out but for now that is our plan the guest room will be uh, one of the kids room and then the studio and you know hopefully there's always an option to maybe upgrade or move but I love this house and I would really like to keep it as our forever home so we will see do you have an overall theme for the new house or theme per room the overall theme of the house is airy and modern but not too modern I don't even know what the style is called because honestly I'm not an interior designer I just want it to be very light airy and kind of just like refreshing because we do work from home we're constantly at home so I don't really want bright colors or things to be too busy I just want it to be clean and sleek the overall theme of the house is pretty much that way and I think the bedrooms Maybe the master in the office has a different vibe, but most of the house is the same vibe. Does Carlos ever think you wear too much makeup? Uh, I definitely know he doesn't because I don't really wear makeup. I rarely wear makeup. Every single day I'm pretty natural. Today I'm wearing a layer of very thin like tinted moisturizer and some blush and that's basically it. Um, I definitely know that he would say I definitely don't wear a lot of makeup because I barely wear makeup at all. Do you like Carlos better without the beard? It throws me off sometimes too. To be honest I like Carlos with a beard that's just my personal preference he also likes himself with a beard so I think we're on the same page but yes I do love his beard and he grooms and keeps his beard top-notch so I love it if you had to choose what is only one thing you're excited about in the new house something that I'm excited about in the new house if I had to choose one thing would be the backyard I'm excited to see the boys our dogs just run in the backyard and have the time of their life that is like the one thing I'm excited about did you guys celebrate Thanksgiving? No, we did not. With COVID going on, we didn't want to risk our moms or any of our family members being together. You just never know these days. So rather safe than sorry. What furniture brands are you purchasing for in your new home? Um, we're buying a lot of stuff from Crate and Barrel, CB2, West Elm, Living Spaces, and Ikea. Final thoughts on the sad retirement of keeping up with the Kardashians. Um, honestly, it was just time for it to end, to be honest. I feel 
feel like the recent season, the recent, the recent two seasons, I, I honestly thought were so boring. And I think it was time for the show to retire. And it was amazing. And I loved it. And we could always watch reruns. Looking back at your degree, do you wish you majored in another field? Absolutely not. I loved PR and advertising. Marketing, all of that was amazing. And it went with what I do on social media. And I've learned so much. And I have used it every single day of my life. So I would not change it for the world. And where did you buy your strawberry dress? I will actually link where I bought my strawberry dress, which I wore for my engagement photo. So I will link it down below for you guys as well. Anywho, you guys, that is it for today's quick chit chat hangout. Hopefully I got a chance to cover all the questions. My battery of all days is actually dying right now. So I'm talking faster and faster. I love you guys. Let's do more of these chit chats. Leave a question down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Next Q and A will definitely be longer. I'm so sorry. This camera literally dies so fast. Anywho, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.